uh, the, there is a Labour leadership contest now on. Uh, you made the point that it's too early, but it is on. Who should we be watching? And, and is there somebody who's leaping out at you, one, each of you, who could be a potential... Slightly bullshitly, I refuse to play that game. I don't... I don't know who should be the next leader of the Labour Party. I don't think anyone in the Labour Party knows who should be the next leader of the Labour Party. <laughs> Look at what's on offer. Do you think there is an out-and-out -out star that immediate... No. And I don't think there should be at this stage. I don't think Labour's first question should be who's the next leader. I think it should be why did we lose, what went wrong, and then who puts that right. Otherwise, it's like trying to treat someone who's critically ill by sort of throwing medicine at them in the hope that something will stick. You know, you diagnose the illness, then you apply the cure. <laughs> OK. I and also, by the way, I wouldn't go for ambition next time. I would go for competence. Mm -hmm. What people vote for, what people vote for, there's two reasons Labour lost this election. One is that people did not think it was economically competent. Never in history do people win when you are not ahead on the economy. And they didn't think Ed Miliband was a prime minister. And without those two things, you are buggered. It doesn't matter how many homes you want to build or how, what you have to say about the health service. Those are the two things to get right next do you, time. Do you see anybody whom you who passes the, those two Gabby tests? I, I, I'm nervous, but I'm, uh, I, I, can't, I can't see anyone immediate. But I hope that they do apply the test rigorously because I think there is this old Labour Party trick of saying, who do we like? Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's popular within the party? Who's popular internally? And not saying, well, actually, who can we project to a wider electorate? Um, what we see today is that unless you can project to a wider electorate, you don't win elections. Okay, Raf, I'm going to look to you to play the showbiz game with me and give me some names. Come on. Well, yeah, okay, I'll be blunt. I mean, Very yeah, high minded I'll, on I'll, this I'll, side. I'll wait and see exactly who runs, but I think there is one the, 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 the front runners, the people who are organised and ready, as it were, to come out they, um, are, we know, Andy Burnham, Yvette Cooper, Chukka Ramuna. Um, there, there might be some other people sort of floating around. People talk about Liz Kendall a little bit. Uh, some people talk about Dan Jarvis, uh, but he's pretty, you know, Liz and, and Dan Jarvis are, are pretty unknown, and you know, so we don't quite know what they would represent as a proposition. They seem like you know, very sensible, clever, competent people. But so if you take those front runners, Andy, Yvette, Chucker, um, the obvious problem, I think, with Andy and Yvette um, is, both lovely people, I'm sure, is you will have a situation that someone described both of them to me cruelly, but I think not necessarily unfairly, as the kind of tired second lieutenants of New Labour, mm -hmm. and of the, the feeling that you you clearly need some kind of generational shift. The idea that you know the pitch has thrown the ball and you've struck out twice, and yet you're going to take someone from exactly the same team and, and you know struck out a third time, uh, is very very risky. Uh, and on top of that, there is also the danger. This is going to be a very unpopular government very quickly because of all the things that, that, that Polly talks about, the horrible cuts they're going to do, yep. they're going to be divided on Europe very quickly. And the danger is that they will sink in the polls, Labour will go up, you'll have a Labour lead of seven or eight, and then they will slip back into the comfort zone and thinking, actually, just play it safe because we've definitely won, didn't win this one, but we've definitely won the next one because the Tories are going to tear themselves apart. It'll be like 92 to 97 all over again, and that would be a disaster. Polly, I've, I've very deliberately given you the last word. What do you think? All right. Uh, I'm not going to choose a leader, except I'm going to say something which for a moment will make you gasp Harriet Harman for just six months. Um, <laughs> yeah. we, need, we need to have a six months with an interim leader where there is time. It was hugely helpful when Michael Howard stayed on. It allowed Cameron, who was entirely unexpected, to come through from behind. I think Labour's full of talent and it just needs time uh, for somebody else to come forward and to see what this array of people might be. So let's, for heaven's sake, not have a leadership election now, but put Harriet in for, say, six months.